Hi, it's Erica. I'm Loki. And I'm welcome to Skip This. <laughs> Here we go. Hey guys, I'm Erica and welcome to Skip This. I cannot believe we're already at episode eight. Can you believe that, Annie? Loki, what are you doing here? Oh, whoops. What episode are we up to? Eight. I just said that. Hey, Erica, did you know that Skip This on the Oz Kids Network is now in 67 countries? I can't even name 67 countries. Wakanda? Sesame Street? <laughs> Oh no, that's a town. Well, I can. Anyway, did you hear the awesome news? What? There's lots of new shows coming out on the Oz Kids Network. Animal Whisperers, Maverick, and apparently there's heaps more. And it's still going to be fully interactive. So the kids can still send in cool videos and do the activities. That's really cool, Lucky, but I know something you don't. Yeah? What? Well, I heard that because I have... Sorry. The show has so many fans around the globe that the producers want to reward the most spectacular ones. I think they call them super fans. And it's pretty funny, actually. I, when they first told me, I thought they were saying super sad. And I thought, oh, here we go again. Lockie's going to be wearing a cape, being annoying, crying, flying all around the place. But, yeah, they said super fans. Oh, what? Not this kind of fan. <sighs> Lucky, no. Oh, so you mean this kind of fan? Hello, I am your super fan. No, I mean super fans. Like, fans who watch the show every single week, do all the activities, all the extras, submit videos, and, you know, get more people to watch it because they share us on their social medias. Now that is a super fan. I knew that. So what do you get if you are a super fan? Well, I heard that if they get selected, they can come on the set, you know, be an extra in a skit, win prizes, and I don't know, like, get a trophy or something. Oh, like this trophy? No, just put it down, Lockie. Lockie, where are you going? I gotta go so I can do all the activities so I can be an extra on the show. But you're already in the show. Anyways, make sure you guys check out the Oz Kids Network and our social media so you can be selected to be a super fan. Let's watch one of the videos that you guys sent in this week. <coughs> Sweetie, you need some cough medicine. <coughs> I don't want it. Please no. Three, two, one, slug it. <coughs> that was gross. <laughs> that was so good. Guys, guess what? We had another really special celebrity guest on the show this week. Matt Carsley from Doctor Doctor. How exciting! Ah! Let's go check in on him. Matt? 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 <sighs> Don't worry guys, we'll come back to him later. Now it's time to check in on the Nesbits. Let's see what they're up to today. Oh no, 30 seconds left. I've never seen something so complicated. We're gonna need help. No, I'm not calling her. There's only 20 seconds left, just do it. Fine. Hello? Nan. Oh, hi sweetie, how are you today? So lovely to hear your voice. What are you doing? You don't have to? time for this, I need to ask you a question. Oh, your Aunt Deidre had a few laps removed from her buttocks region the other day. Oh, she's okay, but you should have seen the size of them. We don't care about Aunt Deidre's butt lumps. Yeah. Oh, hurry up. Which wire do we cut? 
Oh, is this the bomb diffusion again? There's only six seconds left. Hurry up. Which wire do we cut? It's always the red wire, red. Erica. The red wire. Hello? Matt? 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 Will Annie and I play Happy Sack? Let's go to some videos that you guys sent in this week. It's not very happy, is it, Annie? Honestly, I've had enough of this now. Hello? Yes. Is that the doctor's surgery? Oh, hello. Um, I'd like to book an appointment because um, I'm having problems with my wife. Sorry, no. Sorry, what did you say? Uh, sorry, could you say that one more time? Oh, yes. Uh, well, every time I seem to speak to my wife, she just ignores me. Or I think she's having problems hearing. Can I book an appointment to speak to you in person? 30 minutes. Okay, see you soon. Thank you. Lovely. Bye. Is this Dr. Ombard? Oh, hello. Yes, I'm Dr. Ombard. So I heard you've been having problems with your... Your wife. And um, she seems to not be able to hear you. Is that correct? Sorry, what was that, Dr. Obnard? I said, have you come to me today? Because... You seem to be having problems with your wife, and she can't hear you, and you think she might be ignoring you? Yes, that's correct. Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to a brick wall when I'm trying to talk to her. She just never answers me. I don't understand it. Well, John, the only advice I can give you is that you go to your wife, you stand 50 feet back, you call her, say something. If she doesn't hear you, move 10 feet forward and work your way up until you're right behind her and see if she can hear you or not. And if she can't hear you, then your wife is deaf. Well, I guess I'll have to try that with her then. You're welcome, have a lovely day. Sorry, what did you say? I said you're welcome, have a lovely day. Ah, yes you did. Anyone would think he's the deaf one. Okay. Penelope, what are you doing for dinner? Penelope, what are you doing for dinner? Bloody hell, John, for the fifth time, you're asleep pasta. Anyone would think he's dead. <laughs> that was so good, guys. <laughs> you know, this is my second last episode. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do in my life after this. Well, I guess I could just do this, do this weekly challenges until season two comes out. Hey Annie, make sure to stay tuned after Skip this season one is finished as every single week there's going to be challenges that you could win prizes for. Now let's see what Matt's up to. Matt? 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 Oh, hi Erica. Um, how you doing? There you are Matt. It's so good to have you on the show today. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. So, Matt, what have you been up to lately? Well, I've been studying and I've been writing a lot and uh... Pretty soon we're going to be getting back into season five of Dr. Doctor, which I'm really excited about. I play Ajax on Dr. Doctor, which airs on Channel 9. And Ajax is the son of Hugh Knight, the doctor himself. So Matt, what's it like playing the son of a doctor? Playing Ajax is great. Uh, I get to learn a lot about medicine and the human body and the mind, um, as well as farming and shooting skeet and driving tractors. I've definitely picked up a lot of skills off the guy. That is unreal. But what are you doing right now? Erica, I am doing a draw this. And this is what I'm drawing. That looks like so much fun. The kids back at home are gonna have a blast coming up with drawings with that. I hope so. Thank you so much, Matt, for coming on our show today. I had such a blast talking to you. My pleasure. Bye, Matt. Bye. Bye, Erica. Now 
now it's time to narrate this. This story was written by Christopher. He's 10 years old and he lives in Melbourne, Victoria. Once upon a time, my mum used to always tell me to put the bath mat on the floor when I was having a shower. She would say, Christopher, you will get water all over the floor and slip over and hurt yourself. I was fine. I wasn't going to hurt myself. I was a big boy having a shower. And then one day I forgot to put the bath mat down and I got water on the floor. When I went to put on my underpants, I slipped this way and that way and got my foot caught in the leg hole of my underpants. I started hopping madly until I couldn't stand on one foot anymore and tumbled straight into the sink. I hit my head on the sink and I had to go to the hospital to get one stitch on my eyebrow. The doctor said, you should put a mat down, Christopher. My mum said, that's what I said. The end. Wow, that story was great. I just, I just don't understand why my sister can wear all of my clothes. Like, it's not my fault we're the same size. <laughs> They're my clothes and I look better in them. It all started last week. 12 years old and my mommy started giving me um, Promite instead of Vegemite. There were like these three bananas and they were chasing me. Distraught about having breakfast now, I'm having second thoughts about even eating breakfast in the morning. I always get so much anxiety when I don't know where the nearest toilet is. I, I don't know what to do, what should I do? Wrecked and I can't even write like inside, outside, I can't write I. I feel like everything I taste now and eat tastes like Vegemite. And I don't like Vegemite. I mean, like, what am I supposed to do about that? What are you talking about? I'm so scared. Nothing to be scared of, Plenty of Could you help me? Yes, yes, just keep on keeping on. Yes? Yes. Okay. Keep okay. on keeping on. Keep that on sounds like a. On. I just feel like a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders after I've been talking about my super important problems. Now it's time for my favourite part of the show, the skit this video. You guys did such a good job of finishing off the skit from last week. Let's go check it out, shall we? <laughs> oh. Welcome back, and today we have Erica, who is going to tell us all about how video mistakes are made. Erica. Yes, Lucky. Video mistakes are very easy to make. Sometimes big changes happen and nobody notices. Often, they are really small, and the people who made the video think they can just get away with it. It's quite interesting, really. It's not only interesting, it's also hilarious. Yes, Laura, right. I love one of hilarious things. Okay, that's why Erica. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Now, let's check out the skit this for this week. part of the show, leaving you guys. I don't want to go yet. Oh. But don't worry because next week there's going to be a whole nother episode. With Lockie, don't forget to look below and check out the activities and extra videos that are uploaded every single day this week. Remember, if we play one of your videos and you send it to us, you can win cash and prizes and also for the activities too. Well, I guess that's the end of the show, Annie. To the time when my mum forced me to go grocery shopping with her. I didn't want to go, I just wanted to stay home and watch Netflix, but no. 
Uh, can you believe this, Addy? A little girl wanting to go grocery shopping. Like, that is just absurd. Who wants to do that? Hi, I'm Erica. And I'm Lucky. And you may know us as the host of Skip This. But do you really know us? If you send us videos of you asking weird and bizarre questions, we'll answer them. Like, so Erica, what do you like to do when you're not filming for Skip This? Well, when I'm not filming Skip This, I like to go shopping, uh, hang out with my friends, take photos, take selfies. Um, what else do I like to do? I love to go shopping. Did I already say that? I love to go to the beach. I love to swim. Uh, just, yeah. What about you? <laughs> so, Erica, what do you like to do when you're not filming for Skip This? So unprofessional, Lucky. Unreal. Come on, I need it to go. Let's get there! Here we go!